का जो सेशन है वैसे कहने को ये विमेन के लिए है एक्सक्लूसिवली बट सभी के लिए है पर क्योंकि इसको हमने डिजाइन ऐसे किया हुआ है कि दिस इज विमेन वेलनेस सेशन तो आज के जो हमारे गेस्ट स्पीकर हैं डॉक्टर भारत अग्रवाल वो ऑलरेडी हमारे बीच आ चुके हैं तो मैं उनको बहुत ज्यादा वेलकम करते हुए थोड़ा सा उनके बारे में आपको बताना चाहती हूँ सो डॉक्टर अग्रवाल एल्यूमिनस हैं दिल्ली यूनिवर्सिटी के तो यानी मेरी यूनिवर्सिटी के एल्यूमिनस हैं बनारस हिंदू यूनिवर्सिटी के और यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ कैलिफोर्निया के यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ कैलिफोर्निया में डॉक्टर uh, अग्रवाल uh, ने डॉक्टर ऑफ फिलोसफी की डिग्री ली इन बायोकेमिस्ट्री और डॉक्टर uh, भारत uh, भूषण नहीं होगा आपका नाम सब बीच वाला भारत बी अग्रवाल जी एक uh, बड़े री नोट बायोकेमिस्ट है इनका रिसर्च जो है साइटोकाइंस uh, पर हमेशा बेस रहा है uh, इनका जो साइटोकाइंस uh, का जो रोल होता है इन्फ्लमेशन इन कैंसर एंड दी एंटी कैंसर इफेक्ट ऑफ स्पाइसिस एंड हर्ब्स इस पर डॉक्टर अग्रवाल की रिसर्च है जो स्पाइसिस और हर्ब्स जो हम रोजाना हम साउथ एशियंस अपने खाने में इस्तेमाल करते हैं एक इंटेग्रल पार्ट है किसके कहते हैं ना अभिन्न अंग हमारे कभी ना जुदा होने वाला हिस्सा हमारी क्विजीन का तो उसमें से एक पर्टिकुलर स्पाइस है जिसको कि हम कर्क्यूमिन कहते हैं करक्यूमिन जो है वो टर्मरिक का हिस्सा टर्मरिक में पाया जाता है मेजरली हल्दी जिसको कि हम बहुत ज्यादा प्रोफाउंडली अपनी जो है फूड में अपनी कुकिंग में यूज करते हैं डॉक्टर अग्रवाल अग्रवाल वाज अ प्रोफेसर इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ क्लिनिकल इम्यूनोलॉजी बायो इम्यूनोथेरेपी एंड एक्सपेरिमेंटल थेरोपेटिक्स एट यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ टेक्सिस तो इतनी जबरदस्त इनकी इंट्रोडक्शन है बहुत सालों से रिसर्च कर रहे हैं इनके बहुत सारे पेपर्स पब्लिश हो चुके हैं बहुत सारे लोग इनके मुरीद हैं तो मैंने कहीं इनके सेशन के बारे में जाना था तो थैंक्स टू कवल सचदेवा जी मैं इनको अप्रोच कर पाई और आज ये अपना सेशन हमारे साथ लेंगे तो आप सब अपने क्वेश्चन काइंडली नोट कर लीजिएगा सेशन के एंड में जैसे डॉक्टर अग्रवाल ने कहा है, है वो सेशन के एंड में क्वेश्चंस लेंगे और उनका आंसर ठीक है जी ओके सर थैंक यू थैंक यू वेलकम टू यू थैंक यू सो आई नीड टू शेयर द स्क्रीन नाउ टू शो द शो सर can everybody see my presentation yes, sir we can can everybody see it yes sir we can okay so but we can see lot many screens can you i mean ab apni presentation wali ha ji ab theek hai theek hai sir abhi dikhai de rahi hai ha ji ha ji okay <clears throat> so first of all uh, i would uh, like to thank meeta ji from uh, for giving me this opportunity to share uh, some of the things that we've been doing over the years so i came to uh, america in 1973 to the university of california berkeley since most of the people sitting here are from punjab and i also happen to be from punjab and i come from a small little town in punjab called batala has anybody heard of batala batala yes yes hello yes yes hello yes batala to bahut mashhoor shehar hai gurudwara sahab hai batala mein yeah yeah kand sahab kand sahab कांत साहब हमारे घर के एकदम साथ में है यू नो वो पचास मीटर के होगा दूर बस इतना तो हमारी फैमिली 1947 में वो पाकिस्तान से आई तो वहां से बाघा बॉर्डर क्रॉस करके बटाला पहुंच गई 
तो वो कंद साहब के साथ ही वो खाली घर पड़ा था तो वहां पे वो घर ले लिया तो वो घर मैं वहां पे मेरे सारे बड़े भाई और बहन पाकिस्तान में पैदा हुए थे मैं भारत में पैदा इंडिया में पैदा हुआ था तो मैं लोगों को कहता हूं कि इसीलिए उन्होंने मेरा को नाम भारत दिया यू नो सो आई एम द फर्स्ट प्रोडक्ट ऑफ इंडिपेंडेंट इंडिया एंड सो आई फिनिश्ड माय प्री मेडिकल इन बटाला देयर इज ओनली वन कॉलेज द बेरिंग यूनियन क्रिश्चियन कॉलेज इन बटाला and so that's where i did my pre medical then i came to delhi university and did my bachelor and then i went to banaras hindu university did my masters and then government of india gave me a scholarship to come to america so i ended up in university of california berkeley and then from berkeley after graduating i went back to india and there is a all india institute of medical sciences in delhi and i asked them to give me a job they said no we cannot i said why you cannot they said uh, uh, we have indira gandhi as our prime minister and she wants to find the ways to control the population of india and we want you to find the way to control the population of india i said i don't know anything about it how you expect me to do that he said very very easy he said there is a hormone that causes pregnancy and if you can isolate that hormone we can make a vaccine and we can cure you know we can control the population so i said okay <clears throat> so where do i go so they sent me to a place called university of california san francisco and there is a lab called hormone research lab so that is where i isolated a hormone that causes pregnancy and apparently there is a guy john rockefeller that some of you may have heard of so he is the one that who gave me a scholarship to come abroad and it be in a, a rockefeller fellow so i isolated the hormone that causes pregnancy and then i went back to india again and I said okay do you have a job for me now he they said no i said why not they said at that time indira gandhi was in power now we have a moradji desai in power and moradji desai only believes in urine therapy so in those days that was a very big thing and they said he does not believe in pregnancy and this or that he believes in urine therapy i said i have nothing got to do with it and they said okay then too bad so i came back so i came back to america and there some of you may have heard of steve job have you heard of yes, steve job yes sir so, of course so steve, yes yes so steve, so steve job had a friend his yeah. name is bob swanson they both were class fellows in at harvard so bob okay. swanson graduated and steve job did not so they both came to san francisco and they both started a company one is bob swanson started a company called janan tech and that was the first biotechnology company in the world and steve job started apple oh okay and the first apple he made he brought it to us so we have been apple ever since Okay. and so then within a week after i joined janan tech bob swanson who started a uh, 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 janan tech he said uh, bart i said wait a minute my name is bharat not bart and bart in san francisco means barrier rapid transit okay so that is uh, the fast train in san francisco okay. so they gave me name bart so ever since i've been called bart by everybody bart okay. we want you to find a cure to cancer i said i don't even know how to spell cancer how do you expect me to find a cure they said oh very very easy you start from scratch and uh, and uh, you kill the cancer guy and not the normal guy and and uh, and we will have a cure there was no drug discovered at that time so i isolated a factor called tumor necrosis factor which kills only the cancer guy and not the normal guy so 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 most of their research is done based on either test tube or based on uh, animals but we are neither test tube nor animals so after i isolated uh, i was recruited by a cancer center which is the biggest cancer center in the world called md anderson cancer center in houston 
So that was year 1989. So I ended up in Houston. So that is where they put our factor in the cancer patients and all the patients responded. And they, but it got more sick than ever before. So that means that should it be called tumor necrosis factor or tumor promoting factor? So it was making cancer worse. So, so apparently now the antibodies against that factor have been made with the market over $50 billion a year. And it is used for arthritis and, uh, and Crohn's disease and all of that. So that is where I begin to work on Haldi. When I was growing up uh, in, uh, in Punjab, uh, that, uh, and we had no money whatsoever. And if we ever got hurt, the first thing our mother will give to us is Haldi. So if we get hurt, she will apply Haldi. If we any kind of diabetes, Haldi, Haldi, Haldi. So Haldi is healthy, you know. So so I said, look, let me try this Haldi for uh, uh, to block this uh, TNF. So I tried it and it worked very well. And there was hardly anything known. So, so that is what got me into spices. Haldi was the first spice that I worked on. And I'm going to share with you a lot of stuff on Haldi. And then I begin to ask, you know, uh, there are 50 different spices. So what other spices do? So it turned out that a lot of other spices are doing a remarkably good job. And as you know, that I'm going to tell you, Haldi is very, very native to India. You know, Indians have been eating for spices uh, for a long, long time. And uh, I'm going to tell you a little story about there also that uh, about spices in India. So anyway, so just to make a long story short, that's what got me into spices because I was looking for something that would block TNF. So, so having said that, so I just want to show you that if any of you would like to read, we wrote a whole article that chronic diseases, inflammation and spices, how are they linked? So this paper is already published. It was published in 2018. So if uh, anybody would like to read more about it, there is already a paper published. Okay. So can everybody hear me? Yes, sir. Okay. So again, so I'm trying to give you, so we have another talk that I gave, Haldi is healthy. Okay. Turmeric. And this is a talk again that I gave as a plenary talk, just like what I'm giving it to you. I'm giving you a kind of ideas. So we even have a book called Healing Spices. And it is published by Barnes & Noble. And it is translated into all different languages. And as indicated over here, and it is already 100,000 copies are sold. And if any of you are interested, can buy this book and learn more about spices. I'm trying to kind of give you an idea. And so here you can see comes Haldi and here is a rhizome and that is the powder and here is the plant. And now they are making even Haldi drinks. And here is a, another article fighting inflammation with this. And so apparently just to show you that when I started, there was hardly anything known about Haldi. And now they opened up a restaurant in Palo Alto called Turmeric, the Golden Spice. Okay. So named it after Haldi. And then they opened up another restaurant in New York. And the name itself, as you can see, is called Haldi. Okay. And so I'm trying to show you how popular Haldi has become. Okay. And they are now making a Haldi, Haldi here, uh, you know, this milkshake, Haldi cookies, your know, turmeric cookies and latte, you know, is also being sold. And then I happened to be in Turkey, Istanbul. And I was giving a talk. I've been to 100 different countries around the world giving these talks. Okay. So and Turkey just happened to be one of the country. And uh, Istanbul was the place. And it, by the way, I was supposed to be in Turkey in uh, 2020. But because of coronavirus, uh, everything got canceled. I was supposed to be giving a talk in Munich. 
I was supposed to be giving a talk in Berlin. I was supposed to be giving a talk in Istanbul. I was supposed to be giving a talk in Jakarta. I was supposed to be giving a talk in Ahmedabad. But because of coronavirus, everything got canceled. And that was 2020. So, and this was in Istanbul, that uh, where I've been several times there before. And I'm standing right here. And, and the reason this picture is taken, I see this name called Bharat, as you can see right there. So my wife began to take my picture and, and here are all the spices. So uh, the guy who is the owner of the shop is asking that why you're taking this picture of my shop. And she said, my name, my, my husband's name is Bharat. And he did not believe it because in Turkish language, Bharat means spices. So here I am, oh. that Bharat <laughs> standing in front of you talking about spices. So in Turkish language, Bharat is spices. So you can imagine. And that's why this picture was being taken. Okay. So, so having said that, so there is also article written in Scientific American called Spice Healer. That how spices can heal. And uh, so if anybody is interested, can get that. And here are all the spices that we are going to talk about. Again, it should look very familiar to you. And this is what we call add spice to your life. Okay. And again, it has a double meaning. Okay. So I'm sure everybody knows Vasco de Gama. Yes. Everybody should know Christopher Columbus. Yes, sir. Right? Yes, sir. And there is a third guy which may not everybody know is called Jose Cabarillo. That is the third guy. So that is the guy who discovered San Diego. He is the one who discovered California. And what is common with all these three guys, they were all looking for spices. And they knew all these spices come from India. So they were looking for India. So here is a Vasco de Gama looking for spices. Here is a, a Christopher Columbus looking for spices. And the route that they were using is called Spice Route. Okay. And we happened to be organizing a conference in Goa. So Vasco de Gama ended up in Goa. Christopher Columbus ended up in America. He discovered America. And, and, uh, and Jose Cabarillo is the one who discovered California, okay. San Diego. So there is a, we have a zoo very close to our house. And that gives all the history of spices and Jose Cabarillo. Around the same time, all these guys, they were looking for India and they were looking for spicy. And not, not very many people know that. Okay. And uh, as I mentioned, uh, Vasco de Gama was the only one who found the spices at the right place. In fact, we went to Vasco de Gama's house, you know, over there. And as you can see, this is May 20, 1498. So this building is still there even as of today. And you have to see it to believe it. Okay. So here is a, just to give you a gist, spicy approach to cancer treatment. So this is, there is a National Cancer Institute in America that uh, I'm sure some of you know, know that. So they are the one who wrote this article, spicy approach to cancer treatment, curry compound fights cancer in the clinic. Okay. Just these are the paper that have come out over there and I'm sharing with you. And so we are even on a cover of a magazine called Trends in Pharmaceutical Sciences. As you know, that in South India, this use spices to cover their feet. Any can no wedding in the South is complete without putting spices on their feet. And this is Haldi in particular. Okay. So, so here is a Haldi and, uh, and, uh, and they are trying to show that how spices are used in South India versus North India. Okay, so here again, I want to share with you that countries like India where spices are consumed versus country like US where spices are not consumed. And the incidence of cancer in male versus female is the lowest in India and highest in America. Okay, because America, people hardly heard of spices. 
at the heart. Now, the, gradually, they are getting more and more into it, but still not anywhere close to with India, because India, no house is free of spices. You know, spices is everywhere. So the cancer of a male versus female is very, 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 very low in India and very, very high in America. Okay, so I'm trying to show you. And, and that is again connected with spices. So we have a, an article called Healing with Spices, how spices can heal. And so here you can see there are all different spices. So you have a L spice, you have almond, archer, aniseed, asphotida, basil, you know, you are familiar with it. I don't have to go through one by one. And so here are more spices. So these are all the spices they add to every day's life. So question is, why are we talking about spices? Hmm. So there is a word called inflammation. All of you have heard of Agni Devta. Agni Devta is a fire god. Okay. So the word inflammation comes from inflame. Inflame means fire. Okay. So virtually every disease in our body is caused by inflammation. Every disease, even coronavirus. And I'm going to show you that, uh, that coronavirus is linked to inflammation and spices will block it. Okay. So, so there is a whole issue and this is a 2021 issue of science and science is the most prestigious journal and it all talks about inflammation, how inflammation causes various diseases. And here is another issue. This is 2013. The whole issue is about inflammation. Okay. And the reason I'm showing you about inflammation, that the way spices work or the way they do what they do is through blocking inflammation. So every disease known to man is through inflammation. And if you use spices, you can block the disease. Am I clear? Yes, sir. So here, you know, with coronavirus, we are very lonely. Normally, I hardly ever sit home. I'm always at work and doing something or the other. So the, here is an article that appeared in 2022. Men living alone are at greater risk for inflammation. You see that? That isolation causes stress and stress causes inflammation. Okay. So here is what I mentioned you earlier, that even COVID-19, everything it does is through inflammation. And, and this is the article that we wrote, COVID-19, cytokine, inflammation, and spicy. How are they linked? So if anybody is interested, I will be glad to share this article with you. So the spicy, they bind to the coronavirus. They bind to the receptor to which coronavirus, whatever it does, and they block the end result. What more you can ask? Mm -hmm. Okay. So add more spice to your life, you know, because of coronavirus. <laughs> and so our working hypotheses have been dysregulated chronic inflammation caused by lifestyle factors, mediate chronic diseases, including cancer. So it is inflammation. Is that clear? Any questions so far? I just want to make uh, sure that everybody's understanding it. If you did not understand it, please feel free to block me. Okay. So you are telling, you are saying that uh, loneliness causes this disease also. Loneliness causes inflammation. Inflammation. Yeah. Yeah. Stress, stress. So if you, are, if you are lonely, it causes stress, and stress means inflammation. Am I clear? You are clear, but how to, how to stop that kind of thing? Add more spice to your life. <laughs> <laughs> so the so point of the matter is that uh, uh, this is one of the avenue that uh, you know, people have parties. You know, again, they add more spices. Okay. And uh, so, so here I just want to continue. The, if you go to a doctor, you are feeling lonely or you have some kind of problem, you go to a doctor. So doctor will give you a medicine that is approved by the FDA. All of you know what is FDA, right? So, 
And that drug that oh. given by the FDA, they're coming from the pharmaceutical companies. Okay. And so here I'm giving you an example of 20, 91 new therapies approved for solid tumors between 2002 and 2016. Median overall survival is little more than two months. Just imagine. Only two months. And how much it costs? Yet the annual price tag for the patient now regularly exceeds $100,000. So you have a choice, either to pay $100,000 or you sit home and eat healthy. Am I clear? Okay, $100,000 and will give you two month increase in lifespan. And this is very, 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 very important for you to realize it. And even doctors, I gave a lot of this lecture to the doctors. Doctor said, if they are sick, they will take it, but they will never give it to the patients because doctors are being paid by the pharmaceutical industry. So they are blocking the pharmaceutical industry. So doctors are as much of a drug dealers as anybody else because they just want to make money. So they care less about the patient. And here is the data that pretty much shows you that what doctors are all about. So they are, I tell my wife, there are two kinds of drug dealers, legal drug dealers and illegal drug dealers. Doctors are the legal drug dealers. Okay, and they are pushing the pharmaceutical company. And now the pharmaceutical company, at least in US, is reaching a market of one trillion dollar. One trillion dollar. And yet the cancer is going up and up and up. Okay. So point of the matter is that they will never push this kind of stuff. And the idea is to make money. Now, here is a map that all of you should be familiar with. This is the whole United States and Canada shown in red. And here is India shown in white. Okay. So if you look at the cancer incidence, what is white is the lowest. What is red is the highest. So cancer incidence in America is the highest. And here is in India is the lowest. Just imagine. So as America is trying to add spice to your life, whereas India is trying to get more Americanized. And that's not good. Mm. Am I clear? Yeah. Mm. So it is also now projected that, that cancer is going to go up and up and up. So here is a 2002, 2020, 2030. And you can see the new cases of cancer incidence is going up and up. And cancer death is also going up and up. Okay. So, so point of the matter is that people don't push spices. If they were, this will not happen. You have to change the lifestyle. You don't need to do anything else. You know, being a vegetarian is in your favor. Having spices is in your favor. More you drink alcohol, more you smoke, and all that kind of stuff, it is going to add more. So here, neutralizing tumor, promoting chronic inflammation is a magic bullet. Mm. Again, inflammation. Am I clear? Yes. So there is a whole book that I, 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 I forwarded called Inflammation Nation. It is by my friend Sunil Pai that how... America is full of inflammation. Some of you may have heard of this guy, Andrew Vale. So he's involved. I'm involved. And, uh, and uh, Deepak Chopra, some of you may have heard of. Yes. So Deepak Chopra is involved. And it is all about inflammation. Okay. Inflammation, inflammation. So here, inflame. Inflame is fire. So here are fires burning. Whole issue is on inflammation. So the secret killer, so Time Magazine, you guys know Time Magazine. The whole issue of Time Magazine is inflammation, the secret killer. Whether, and it is heart attack, cancer, Alzheimer, and other diseases, it is inflammation. Okay. So this is fires within. So depending on where the fires are burning, it is causing different diseases. And same issue. So I'm trying to keep it simple for you to be able to see it. So here, 
See, fires is not bad. As I mentioned, fire is Agni Devta. And we need fire. Here is in the kitchen. You go in the kitchen, you want to cook, you need fire. Here is a living room. You want to keep the living room warm, you need fire. Here is a bedroom. You want to keep the bedroom warm so that you can sleep. So fire is not bad. It is a fire that gets out of control. Here you can see what's happening in the kitchen, living room, everywhere. It can burn. Fire out of control. Am I clear? So inflammation, a double-edged sword for cancer and other age-related diseases. Meaning how if inflammation is under control, it is good for you. If inflammation is out of control, it is bad for you. Okay. So where this inflammation is coming from? Cigarette smoking. One third of all cancers is due to cigarette smoking. Here is radiation. Here in uh, America, you know, people take their clothes off and they lie on the beach to bake their skin, leading to skin cancer, inflammation. Alcohol, diet, obesity, all inflammation. Clear? So, and diet, sad is fad. You know what is sad? Sad is standard American diet. And that is the fad. And this is what standard American diet is. Clear? So here is environment of pollution, food factor, bacteria, viruses, cigarette smoking, stress. People are more under stress than ever before. And ultraviolet radiation, alcohol, beverage, they all cause inflammation. Okay. So signaling pathways of the, and they're all inflammation is coming from TNF, the molecule that we discovered. Okay. <clears throat> so as I mentioned, one third of all cancers are due to tobacco. One third are due to diet, 14 to 20% obesity, 18% infection, 7% environmental pollution, and only 5 to 10% due to the genes that we inherit. Only 5 to 10%. That means genes have a very little contribution. Everything is environment. As they say, you are what you eat. Okay, so that's where the cancer is coming from. You know, so, so this is the truth. And everybody need to know that. And if you go, if you know this truth, you will not end up being with a doctor. Okay. So everything is a lifestyle. So if you don't change the lifestyle, then nothing is going to happen. Does not matter. Okay. So it was this guy, Rudolf Warshaw, in 19th century, 1850. He was the first one to define inflammation. It's called redness. So wherever you have inflamed, it is redness, swelling, heat, and pain. That is what is inflammation. Okay. So he is the one who came up uh, with a word called ETIS. So he linked inflammation with atherosclerosis, rheumatoid arthritis, multiple sclerosis, cancer, asthma, Alzheimer, you name it. Every disease, inflammation. Okay, so there is a word for inflammation was introduced called ETIS. What is ETIS? If somebody says I have arthritis, means inflammation of the joints. Somebody says I have bronchitis, inflammation of the bronchus. Somebody says I have sinusitis, inflammation of the sinus. So all this ETIS is inflammation. Am I clear? So now there are 200 different ETs. I put all that together. Just imagine. So you go to a doctor. Doctor says you have pancreatitis. Hey, what the hell is pancreatitis? It means inflammation of the pancreas. Okay. Somebody, you go to a doctor. You, doctor says you have hepatitis. Hey, what is hepatitis? Inflammation of the liver. Hepat, you know, hepatic tissue. So all these ETs. Oh, you have a bronchitis, inflammation of the bronchus. Everything is inflammation. So, and then inflammation 
no country has more inflammation than america here i put japan 7.9 per 100000 india 44.3 per 100000 and us 229 per 100000 and this is with inflammation of ulcerative colitis you can imagine <coughs> so just to summarize that all these different things cause inflammation and then it lead to etis and etis lead to cancer so here is our working hypothesis that uh, there is a master switch called nf kappa b i'm getting a little more technical and that causes inflammation which lead to chronic diseases and here is uh, that uh, whole, all the different uh, uh, genes that are regulated by it and again i don't want to th go through but i want to show you the bone loss if your bones are disappearing is inflammation invasion and metastasis and your genesis proliferation survival it is all inflammation and question is how to block it here is an even chemo and radiation when somebody has a cancer they give chemo and radiation even that causes inflammation here are all the different cancers have been linked to inflammation and and again the one size does not fit all so we can i it gets too technical i'm not going to kind of go through here are all the different diseases inflammation and yet inflammation is the important part of the immune system so cigarette smoking activates inflammation obesity activates inflammation so again stress activating inflammation so so what we need is a fire extinguisher to block inflammation and here is a one of the way to block inflammation is all the fruits and vegetables and this whole issue that came on it and again no country uh, there are more fruits and vegetable being eaten than india is all these vegetables and there are hundreds of different kind of vegetables so and some people take drugs they take steroid they take an nsaid celebrex metformin statin they all block inflammation so here is aspirin even that is coming from the natural sources steroids coming from fenugreek fenugreek you, you you know what is fenugreek so so that is coming from fenugreek methre is called punjabi man you know has statins again from natural sources metformin again from a uh, natural source and these were three guys not very many people know and subarao was the first one to discover a drug for cancer and surender sagal was the second one to discover a drug for cancer and mansukh wani was gujarati he just passed away last year and he was the first one to discover it. so these are the indians who are very 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 prominent in discovering drugs for cancer and even indian most of the indian that i have run into even they don't know it that's why i'm sharing this with you <coughs> their outstanding contribution and i put the name of the drug that they discovered so here is a <coughs> plant called sada bahar you know i don't know how many of you have heard of so the first anti cancer drug was came out of it sada bahar and, and i showed the picture of the plant and so here is a cancer drug discovery by repurposing and here is a is a aspirin for example used for all these various things and here is aspirin for cancer metformin for cancer statin for cancer and so everything is to control inflammation to treat and prevent most chronic diseases we need to dial down but not turn off a multiple cell signaling pathway sloan school of management at mit and harvard business school have discovered a farmers market however what we need a farmers market with f so farmers market is pharmaceutical here is a farmers market that's what we need and this article came in new york time okay that uh, so and this is no different than what hippocrates proclaimed 25 centuries ago let food be thy medicine and medicine be thy food and that's what we are talking 25 centuries ago so everything is a food and that's why they say you are what you eat and there and every medical doctor in america who has to uh, get medical degree they take what they call hippocrates oath yet they don't know what hippocrates did they don't know abc of you know fruits and vegetable yet they are getting a medical degree and they are getting a hippocrates oath and they need to know all this 
So I talk to a lot of medical doctors. They have no clue. They get surprised. So Hippocrates, 25 centuries ago, that <coughs> what you call Hippocrates oath has morphed into hypocritical oath. First do no harm has become first make more money. Okay. And again, coming from New York Times. And so the vertical farmer's market, farmer with F, this is a farmer's market. So you can imagine, it should not surprise you. These are all fruits, they are spices and condiments, vegetables, cereals, you name it. Absolutely. Okay. They all block inflammation. You don't have to do much at all. And here is a more bigger farmer's market. There are hundreds of them. These are all pictures coming from our books. And here are 95 different kinds of vegetables, <laughs> different kinds of dals, pulses, different kinds of nuts, cereals. Here is even more. These are all different fruits, 215 different kinds of fruits. You know, <laughs> so this is what I mean. This is part of our culture. And man without a culture is a vulture. Okay. <laughs> So, so we need to know that. Okay. So here you can see, I put down walnuts, kidney beans. Soya. So all this should look very familiar. <laughs> they all block inflammation. They all block, reduce your risk of cancer by 30 to 40% by adapting healthier eating habits. Mm -hmm. Okay. And this is MD Anderson Cancer Center announcing that. This is the biggest cancer center in the world. And they are the one who announced, we will never have a cure to cancer, therefore it is a good business, which means make more money. Mm. Okay, so it is all money-making game. Okay, so simple solution, God is answering, Albert Einstein. I did not say Albert Einstein said that. <laughs> okay, when solution is simple, God is answering. Ayurveda, this is another one that came from India. It means science of long life. That's what Ayurveda means. And this has been around for 5,000 years. Okay. And, and again, all of you are familiar. Jark Samhita, you know, and Sushrita Samhita, 6th century BC. And here is a guru sitting in the center and his chelas are sitting on either side and they're giving them, teaching them underneath the tree. And so there is a vatta, pitta, kapha and that these are three doshas. So if they get imbalanced, that lead to the disease. So you have to keep it in balance. So inflammation in Ayurveda is called sofa. Not sofa that we sit on, but this is the Ayurvedic sofa. Okay, so here are all the different aspects of inflammation. So inflammation causes pain, it causes redness, it causes swelling, it causes heat, it causes loss of function. And this is what it defined in Ayurveda. So, and that is a Granthi, our Buddha, and I'm going to go through in detail. And here, just to kind of quickly to show you, and here are all the different ways to control inflammation. There are different kinds of herbs. There are yoga, there are pranayama, dietary modification, meditation, astrology, sound therapy, pancha, karma, rasayana, aromatherapy, prayers, herbs. These are all to control inflammation. And this has been around for thousands of years. So cancer drug discovery from Ayurveda. You know, again, Ayurveda has been shown. And here is a people from Germany who wrote this whole thing. And here are again the different kind of plants that I showed you this earlier and Sada Bahar coming from Ayurveda. These are all herbs coming from Ayurveda and from traditional Ayurvedic medicine to modern medicine. And again, coming from Ayurveda. And there's a golden triangle, which means you combine Ayurveda with traditional medicine and modern technology and use it all in combination. Here is Amla, you know, oh. called Umbelica officinalis and used in Ayurveda. And here we showed it works beautifully for cancer. And most people from the north, they are very familiar with this plant, Amla. Yes. And here we wrote uh, the whole article on this one. 
So Googling the Google. Google is, uh, you know, you, all of you know this company called Google. And this Google is came yesterday. But this Google that I'm talking about called Comifora and Boswellia have been around for thousands of years. So you can put it in the, in the Google, you know, these words, everything will show. Googling the Google for prevention of chronic disease. Okay. So we wrote the whole article. If anybody is interested, I will be glad to share. And this is what Google looks like. And it and it here it is written in Atharaveda, in Sanskrit, what it does. And here I translated into English. And again, blocks inflammation. Here we publish whole paper. Google Stenon coming from Google blocks inflammation. Here is a Salai Google, Boswellia Serata, called Frank Incense. This is what Jesus Christ was playing with. Okay. And a Boswellia, also called Shalakti, a Salai Google, and again, blocks inflammation. Here is Ashwagandha. Ashwa means horse. Ganda means smell. It smells like a horse. Okay. It's called Vitania somnifera. Again, block inflammation. Here is, <coughs> you have a round pepper, and then you have a long pepper. Okay. It's called long pepper. And this is what it looks like. Blocks inflammation. Another one blocks inflammation. So anyway, so we have a whole book called Immunonutrition, Interaction of Diet, Genetics, and Inflammation, edited by me and David Heber, who is a, a clinical nutritionist from UCLA. Pharmaceutical, this is not pH pharmaceutical, this is pharmaceutical. Refers to medically valuable compound produced from modified agriculture crops or animals. And this is pharmaceutical. You can imagine. Again, should look very familiar. And this is what the active compounds in all of them. <clears throat> Inflammation, lifestyle, and chronic disease, the silent link, another book that we have. Okay. So we have 30 books. You know, I'm trying to share with you some of the books that have been written. And again, this is resveratrol. People who like to drink red wine, they think that the best source of red wine, uh, resveratrol is red wine. And these are the red grapes. That is one of the source. But that's not the only one. So you can see resveratrol, that's where it's coming from, blocks inflammation. So here are all the different things that resveratrol does. Here is indole-3-carbinol, all the different things that it is coming from and blocks inflammation. And here is a nimbolite, that neem, neem tree, you know, as name is Azadi Raktika Indica. Azadi means freedom. Drakt means tree. Indica means India. The tree from India which gives you freedom from all diseases is Azadi Rakta Indica. Azadi. Azadi. That's how the name came about. And this tree is very native to India. No other country has it. Okay. So, and this is the active compound and blocks inflammation. And so, blocks inflammation. Here is a tocotrienol, and this is just to give you structure and palm, rice, barley, oat, wheat, all block inflammation. And here, are, this is, these are the amounts that are present in all this food, and this should look very familiar to you. And blocks inflammation. And again, kind of quickly, if it blocks inflammation, it blocks cancer. Pancreatic cancer is one of the most lethal cancer, and completely blocks it. And again, just to show you, you know, from exotic spice to modern drugs, the global demand for more affordable therapeutic and concern about side effects of commonly used drugs are refocusing interest on Eastern traditional medicine, particularly those from India and China. And these are the, this is, these are the drugs. This is what is used for thousands of years. Thousands of years. Dietary spices. And so we have a molecular targets and therapeutic uses of spices. Another book. Okay. And add spice to your life. Curry in hurry. The American use this terminology all the time. Spice it up. Spice queen, spice goddess. <laughs> so they, they know how to talk spicy language, but they don't use it. <coughs> so all the American women's names are spicy names. Okay. So like anise, ginger, rosemary, maize, pepper, basil, tulsi, sage, jasmine, angelica, curry, chili. These are all American women's names. And they're all spices. And yet they don't use it. They don't even know what it is. 
So dietary nutraceutical as a backbone for bone health. You can even strengthen your bone by adding spices. And here is a healthy, you know, turmeric. The active yellow color in turmeric is called curcumin, cure cumin. That is the yellow color. So before the pH meter came along, that haldi was used as a pH indicator. If it is put under acidic condition, it would turn black. Under alkaline condition, it would turn red. Okay. So you can tell the pH of a solution just by putting haldi in there. So here are all the different diseases that haldi works and how it works. And molecular target have mutas to drive from dietary spices, inflammation and tumorogenesis. And here is the active compound from uh, haldi, from turmeric, from red chili, fenugreek, fennel, cloves, holy basil. So here they are all blocking inflammation. Again, papers published: ginger blocking inflammation, ginger blocking bone loss, and black black cumin blocking inflammation, fenugreek blocking inflammation, fennel blocking inflammation, black pepper blocking inflammation, cardamom blocking inflammation. So so. And here is preventing bone loss and curcumin getting back to our roots. So these are the root, what it looks like. So you can see the root and, and that gives to this and this gives to this. Just to kind of again give you an idea. Pharmacological <coughs> basis for the role of curcumin crown, it is age old spice with modern targets. It has been around for thousands of years. And so, <coughs> <coughs> These are all the different names of turmeric in Sanskrit. Okay. Just imagine. Ratri Manika. Ratri means night. Manika means glows. The one that glows in the night time is Ratri Manika. And that is turmeric. It glows in the night time. And here you have Gauri. Means it gives the Gauri color. So uh, it is a uh, uh, Pitambra Dhari. Pitambra Dhari is Bhagwan Krishna. Pita means Haldi. The one who wears Haldi stained clothes is Pitambra Dhari. Okay. Rubber Gavasa. Rubber means fat. Gavasa means disappear. Anti obesity. And that is Haldi. Madhu Nashani. Madhu means sugar and Nashani means destroys. That is Haldi. You know, that means it is anti diabetic. So these are all the different names in Sanskrit for Haldi. And then every culture here, I put different languages, they have a name for Haldi. So you can imagine. Termite, the golden spice for, from traditional medicine to modern medicine. So we wrote a whole article. And then, you know, we some of us come from Punjab. So there is a yellow Haldi in Punjab. And then those who come from Gujarat, is there anybody Gujarati here? Gujarati, they have a haldi which is white in color. And that amba haldi. And that is called, the reason it is called amba haldi, it tastes like a mango. So therefore, it is called amba haldi. So there are 100 different kinds of haldi. I was in Chitrakoot. Some of you may have heard a place called Chitrakoot. Mm -hmm. You know, that is uh, where Bhagwan Ram came, you know, and uh, stayed there, you know, when he left Ayodhya. So we went to Chitrakoot and they were selling black haldi. Okay. Mm -hmm. So so not very many people heard of. So these are all hundred different kind of haldi. Okay. So you can see from the picture. <coughs> so it was this guy in 1842 was the first one who isolated curcumin, you know, and uh, from haldi. So I'm trying to show you. And he was from Germany. So as a, and then first paper ever published on Haldi was that it is antibacterial, it kills the bacteria. So as of today, it is an antifungal, antibacteria, anti-termite, anti-cancer, uh, you name it. Haldi does it all. Okay. So even coronavirus, as I said, they completely killed by Haldi. Okay. But people don't sell it for, for coronavirus. Why? Because they cannot make any money. So we went to even pharmaceutical company. We went to the FDA for approval and the FDA declined. Why? Because they said, oh, people have been eating for thousands of years. You don't need my permission. Just go home and eat it. You don't need my permission. So then they completely declined. And pharmaceutical company, they sell only drugs that are approved by the FDA. 
So here is a haldi again that to show you, this is curcumin. If this was 25 gram turmeric, this is how much curcumin he says. And then Johnson & Johnson made a band-aid. So, so as I mentioned that when I was a little kid, you know, we used to apply haldi if we get hurt. And Johnson & Johnson took advantage, they made a band-aid. Okay. So you can go on their website and get a curcumin band banded with haldi on it. And then there is a Vico Vajradanti. Vico is again turmeric toothpaste. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm just trying to show you. <clears throat> and then the yeah, same turmeric under alkaline condition is red, under acidic condition is completely black. So you can tell pH of a solution. Okay. So it is antibacterial, as I said, it kills all the viruses, all the bacteria, all the all the fungus, and even termites, you know. So and here is a termites. And it uh, it is anti-inflammatory and it is antiviral. And so it blocks inflammation. And here just to kind of go on. And so far, nobody has found a cancer, I challenge you, that healthy cannot kill. And here I put all the cancers. Nobody has found yet. Okay. So here are all the different targets. And this is, so normally most things, they bind to one or two substances. Here, healthy bind to 50 different proteins, how it does what it does. And it blocks TNF. And uh, TNF, I already mentioned that blockers have a $20 billion a year market. Haldi will do the same thing. And these are some of the approved drugs. And uh, there is all these blockers have a black level warning. And here is Haldi blocking inflammation. And then this is the first clinical trial that came by, by this woman, Usha Rani, 2008. She gave it to people. And she examined here 150 milligram twice a day she could completely uh, block TNF. And here's a control, here is a, the other one. So there are more clinical trials, more clinical trials. I don't have a time to go through. These are all the different uh, diseases that I have been checked. And here are all the references. And uh, here is turmeric is a biliary diseases and turmeric bioavailability. It is not a problem. It's curcumin bioavailability problem and the answer is no. And here, just to show you that some of the paper published, and again, it ends up in all different organs in the body. No problem at all. And I'm just trying to show you. And then I was giving a talk in Bulgaria, <coughs> and the, a doctor, medical doctor came to me, and he showed me this tumor, cutaneous T-cell lymphoma, that is growing in the patient, and he's treating this whole patient with Haldi. And he showed, the, gave, me, gave me this data. Just applying Haldi topically. That's it. Okay, and you can see the disease is here. And psoriasis, there's a woman in Madeline Hang in UCLA, and she's treating psoriasis with Haldi. Here is a before, here is a after. She even changed the name of turmeric to Soria Gold because gold is in color. So now she can make more money, okay, just by changing the name. Okay, so this is Madeline Hang. So, and here that it is uh, doing everything and here's a uvitis completely working very well. And I can kind of go on and here's a Deepak Chopra. He just published a paper on Haldi that how it controls the human gut microbiota. And turmeric is at least as effective as curcumin for anti-cancer potentially. You know, here are all the different targets and, uh, and I can go on. And here is a salabin, another compound from Haldi and that is working very well. And we published on that too. There are 200 different compounds in Haldi and curcumin is just one of them, okay? So might as well take the whole turmeric. So, you know, turmeric, they cannot make as much money as it, curcumin they can. So turmeric is $1 a kilo, curcumin is $100 a kilo, you know, so they can make more money. So curcumin free turmeric, it, it does the same thing, you know, so here, I can go on and on as so just some of the animal study that we have done. And here is, a, it is, so two plus two is 10. So it can be combined with resveratrol. It is synergistic. Green tea, quaracetin, piperine, genistein. So these are all the different combinations. And here are countries that are, are not eating spices versus countries that are eating spices. You can see the incidence of cancer by cancer in male versus female and cancer death. And you can see India is very, very low. 
whereas US is very, very high. Okay. And so we have another book, Roll Up Nutraceutical in Cancer Chemo Sensitization. And here are all the different products and number of products is going up. And they made even started making candies. They made even creams, you know, and they made even drinks and they made even a paste. And, uh, you know, so you can see all these things should look very familiar. They are trying to cash in on it. So I'm going to kind of, uh, here are some Ayurvedic things. And here are some of the conferences that we are holding in India on all the different uh, uh, spices. And our next one is coming up in Delhi in October, but we just finished one in uh, Guwahati. And before that was Goa and then Rishikesh and all that. And even, so one of the, another way to control inflammation is meditation. This article just appeared, okay? So again, everything is in your favor, you know? And, and, and walking is another way to control inflammation. And these are the various people who work with me over the years. And it, I'm just presenting to you their work and just to give you an idea. So with that, I stop right here and thank all of you for your attention. Wow. <laughs> uh, you can stop sharing, sir. Thank you so much. <clears throat> So, uh, okay, I stopped. Yeah, thank you so much. Sure. So, thank you, thank you, thank you, Dr. Devwal. Uh, it was a bombardment of information. It was a bombardment. I, mean, I, just, I was just thinking that Batale to do khas bande jade bade mashur ho ene ekte sade Shiv Kumar ji, Batalvi. Oh, kindly mute yourselves. Uh, aapko jo questions honge, main abhi aapko unmute karne kaungi, please. Thank you so much. So kind of you. So, so you want me to mute, you want me to mute myself or no, sir, not you. <laughs> oh, 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 okay. Because okay. I'm I'm trying to thank you with whole of my heart and on behalf of everyone here. I know how much and there are so many hands already raised. People want to ask so many questions. I know you have plenty, plenty of questions. And uh your questions Zaru, Dr. Agarwal Abhi Lenge. So Parme Apka Sapka. एक तो सबका तहे दिल से शुक्रिया अदा करती हूं डॉक्टर अग्रवाल हमारे यहां पर मैं आपको थोड़ा सा यह भी इंफॉर्मेशन देना चाहती हूं कि वी हैव रिप्रेजेंटेटिव्स फ्रॉम वेरियस स्टेट्स ऑफ इंडिया एज वेल एज अदर साउथ एशियन कंट्रीज आल्सो तो हमारी कुछ पाकिस्तान की भी प्यारी प्यारी बहनें हैं तो यहां पर सभी वेजिटेबल्स एंड फ्रूट्स ऑलमोस्ट सेम ही है या सो या तो इसलिए बिल्कुल ये जो लाइफस्टाइल की आपने बात की है यस यस आई कैन सी योर हैंड्स रेज सबसे पहले नरेंद्र जी का हाथ खड़ा था मैं अब भी आपके सो सर आर यू रेडी टू टेक क्वेश्चंस शुड आई आस्क वन बाय वन सो आई रिक्वेस्ट अगेन काइंडली ऑल ऑफ यू प्लीज रेज योर हैंड आई ट्राई टू रोप इन क्वेश्चंस फ्रॉम ऑल ऑफ यू सो दैट एवरीवन गेट्स अ चांस टू आस्क और हो सकता है कई बार आपका क्वेश्चन आंसर भी हो जाए तो सब तो तभी आप अनम्यूट कीजिए प्लीज थैंक यू सो मच इससे सुनने में आसानी होती है सबको नरेंद्र जी आप सबसे पहले शूट कर दो सबसे पहले हाथ आपका खड़ा था <laughs> शूट कर लिया तुम अनम्यूट सुनाई नहीं दे रहे आप नरेंद्र जी सुन नहीं सकती नॉट स्पीकिंग नहीं बोल रही है यू आर म्यूटेड आप लॉग आउट करके लॉग इन करो नरेंद्र जी प्लीज वेट करो लॉग आउट करके लॉग इन करो दोबारा प्लीज ठीक है थैंक यू ओके बरिंदर जी Hello, thank you, Dr. Sir. It was a wonderful session and really lots of information and I have lots of questions. Mm -hmm. First of all, um, Haldi, I believe, is not good for heart patients who are on uh, blood thinners. 
who are on what? Blood thinners. Blood thinners. Blood thinners. Blood thinners. Yeah. Because haldi itself is a blood thinner. So, uh, so can we do like this? A, you know, sure you can use it. No, See, this I is what I'm saying. Doctors ask. do not know anything about it. If you go to a doctor and ask a question, you know, they try to avoid it because they don't want to get in trouble. And, and what I'm trying to tell you that there's absolutely no problem whatsoever. So if you have a choice between pharmaceutical drug and haldi, I'd rather take haldi than the pharmaceutical drug. Okay. Am I clear? Yeah, even if it uh, it's with the metallic valve, it's okay. Huh? Uh, metallic valve. Masa, masa. If somebody has metallic a metallic valve. valve, iota valve, metallic, it's okay to take uh, uh, haldi. If somebody has what? Metallic valve in the heart. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Yeah. So, to be honest with you, in all honesty, I cannot tell you anything one way or the other because I know nothing about it. Okay, you know? then please uh, do a study on this. But, uh, but I have yet to find a patient who says, okay, haldi hurts me. You know, okay. I have yet to find a patient. Oh. Maybe, mm -hmm. you know, one in hundred and maybe some white guy, you know, that who is not used to and maybe having some problem with digestion. Mm -hmm. One yeah, in hundred. That yeah, that's but, what that was my next question. Okay, does it affect the gut? Yeah. So 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 far nobody has come to me and said, look, it it did this thing bad to me. Even so, with digestion. So, what, so so what it is because the cost is not an issue, the safety is not an issue, which means you can experiment on yourself that if I take a half a teaspoon, I feel good. If I don't take it, I feel bad. So you can see the difference. You know, because you don't need anybody's approval. You just ask your own body that mm -hmm. are you reacting or is it in your favor or it is not in your favor. You know, safety is not an issue. Cost is not an issue. The only issue that I hear from people, how much. And yeah, there is a guy, in, there is a guy in the University of Michigan who has gone up to 20 grams a day. They did the clinical trials on 100 patients mm -hmm. and they could not find the toxic dose. 20 grams. This is not small. I don't recommend yeah. anybody taking that much, you know, but point of the matter is, so safety is not an issue. Just take it, start from very, very small dose. So me personally, see, I, I, I'm sitting here and here is a 500 milligram capsule. I just take one capsule at the most two a day, 500 milligram. So uh, one in the morning, one in the evening. One should drink more water with it. I'm sorry? One should drink more water with it, with haldi, because it's warm. Uh, sir, her question is, do we need to drink more water with it? Because No, it no, the answer is, it all, you are, see, be, dekho, you are different, I'm different, Mita is different, you know, we are all different. So you suit your own need. You don't need anybody's permission. It is not going to hurt you. If, if your body wants water, just take it. <laughs> so you ask your body that, okay, if uh, I don't take water, I'm thirsty. So obviously you take water. So, but there's no evidence to indicate it will hurt. Should, be, should it be taken with black pepper in it? You can. It cannot hurt. So what it is, there is a, a place called Jammu. And in Jammu, there is an institute of integrated medicine. And they are the one who found that haldi stays in the body longer if it is combined with black pepper. So that's how it came about. So, so the degradation of haldi is blocked by black pepper. And that's how it came about. Okay. So, so that's why some people add a little, throw in a little black pepper. Again, cannot hurt. It can only help. Sorry, one more question. Which yeah. spice should be taken for bone loss? So, haldi is, you know, so... As I mentioned in my talk, that even bone loss is through inflammation, right? So no yeah. question is how to control inflammation, which means, again, haldi or any other spice that you want to combine. And sometimes it happens, you know, probably most of you kind of cook. I cook. I love to cook. I've been cooking for the last 50 years. And so when you are cooking, you know, you just don't think of only haldi. You think of 50 other spices sitting in front of you. 
So you so you combine permutation combination of all different spices, and they all add up in your favor. So not just focus only on haldi, you know, because other thing can do quite a bit also in your favor. So so more you add, the better it is. So the only spice which is very hard is red chili. So as long as you stay from red chili, you are fine. Yes. And green chilies is okay. You know, green chili is fine, but again, some people cannot handle because too much red chili or green chili for that matter, they can affect your intestine. You know, your intestine after a while cannot handle it. So therefore, you have to be careful because capsaicin, you know, which is uh, too much is not in your favor. <coughs> Thank you so much, Dr. Sir. Sure. Thanks a lot. Thank you. So we have many hands raised. Narinder ji, after Narinder ji, I'll ask Nandini ji, then Prabha ji, and then Kaval ji ji. Narinder ji, please. Uh, Dr. Garwal, your uh, talk was very interesting as well as educated and excellent. Thank uh, you. I want to know one thing that last year I fell down on my back. And uh, after a few days, I always have a uh, pain in my back. So how, uh, in what time, or uh, how much uh, this heteromeric should I take? And then how many times a day? But there are two part of the equation. One is if the pain is topical, you can even make a little lape and topically apply it. Okay. Uh, lape of this uh, heteromeric? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So you take any kind of cream, throw in some haldi in there and just apply it. Oh, okay. You know, it is that simple. And, and or you can also take it orally. See, the question is, if you take orally, you know, as a pill or something, you know, how much it will reach where you want it to reach, you don't, yeah. you know, we don't know. But if you apply it locally, then okay. you know it is reaching where you want it to reach. Mm. But uh, it, it's all of the back. How can I uh, put the lip on it? <laughs> but they could not. So you can make a bandaid. You know, you can do anything. You know, you know, bandaid. You know what is bandaid? Yeah, apply you know? on some bandage. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So you can uh, even, uh, you know, take a little piece of cotton and throw in some haldi and just uh, tie it up. You know, meaning whatever is convenient for you. You know, your convenience is most important. Uh, one of my oh, friends, cost is not an issue, safety is not an issue. The only issue is you want to make it reach where it need to reach. That's all. Uh, I need not eat it. Huh? I need not eat it. No, no, you can. There's nothing to hurt. So that is, again, in your favor. Now, the question is, will it reach where you want it to reach or not? Yeah. That's all. Uh, well, so you, my, can, you, you, you can go both ways. If I will be you, I will go both ways. Uh, uh, my family doctor gave me one of the ointment specially made, and that is flexosin. Whenever I apply, uh, the pain vanished within seconds. And uh, it, I am okay for two or three days. Again, it starts. So again, you can make a, your own cream and just... Uh, uh, Keep a little bit on. You can you can go both ways, his way and this way, and see which one works better for you. No, I can't make that. Huh? <laughs> that is a mixture of a compound of many many. I yeah. I don't know what are the. See, things. the thing is that haldi is not going to hurt. Question yeah, is, yeah. is it helping? That's all. Okay. That's all what you are asking. So all okay. what you are doing is experimenting on yourself. You know, and uh -oh. and it can only help. From uh, my point of view, it can only help. How much and how long, that I cannot tell you. Um, it means I have to apply uh, again and again whenever there is pain. But they go again experimenting. Okay. You know, <laughs> thank experimenting. You. Okay, thank you very much. Sure. Thank you so much, Narendra ji. Uh, uh, actually, unka matlab tha apni ointment banane ka matlab apni haldi wali ointment banane. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> तो यहाँ क्योंकि लोग कहते हैं ना पीनी चाहिए मैंने कभी पी नहीं दूध में कहते हैं पीयू मैं एक बार भी नहीं कभी पी मतलब चोट लगने पर भी मैं ट्राई
यू नो बड़ा जार आता है पेट्रोलियम जाली का तो उसमें हल्दी डाल के वो यू कैन टॉपिकली अप्लाई नरेंद्र जी नाक बंद करके दूध में डाल के पी जाओ स्मेल तो होगी नहीं ये तो मुझे पता है कैन ड्रिंक बट आई नरेंद्र इन्होंने जो हल्दी के बारे में और हम लोगों के बेनिफिट के लिए बताया बहुत ही यूजफुल है कुछ चीजों के बारे में कभी पता भी नहीं था जिसके बारे में जान के जानकारी मिली डॉक्टर साहब आपका बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद और दिल से हार्दिक धन्यवाद समय समय पे ऐसी चीजें हमें या सोसाइटी की तरफ से मिलती रहती हैं जिसके लिए हम बहुत आभारी हैं एक चीज मैं आपसे सलाह चाहता था कि मेरी जो गर्लफ्रेंड है मतलब मेरी मिसेस बाई चांस तो वो, वो प्रभा जी उनका नाम है और वो कुछ ना कुछ अपने फार्मूले अपनाती रहती हैं तो जिस वक्त कोविड 19 शुरू हुआ तो उन्होंने शुरू में ही इम्यूनिटी बढ़ाने के लिए कुछ अपना ही गरम मसाला टी बनाई तो वो उसको मैं ये पता करना चाहता हूँ कि उसमें जो जो इन्होंने चीजें डाली हैं आपके हिसाब से कि वह ठीक है या उसमें क्वान्टिटी ठीक है या कोई चीज और एड करके हमारे स्वास्थ्य के लिए भी या औरों के स्वास्थ्य के लिए भी वो स्वास्थ्यवर्धक हो सकती है तो अगर आप एक मिनट दे तो मैं आपको थोड़ा सा बता दूं कि क्या क्या चीज कितनी कितनी है तो आप देखिए उसमें उन्होंने बताया है कि दो लीटर पानी में एक उंगली बड़ी उंगली छोटी उंगली नहीं लेडीज की तो छोटी होती है जेंट्स की उंगली के बराबर बड़ी उंगली अदरक और बड़ी उंगली के बराबर उसमें हल्दी कच्ची हल्दी जैसे आपने बताया और तुलसी के आठ दस पत्ते और आधा चम्मच दालचीनी पाउडर दो लीटर पानी में आधा चम्मच मुलेठी पाउडर और 10 के करीब पिसी हुई लौंग 10 काली मिर्च पिसी हुई 10 छोटी इलायची पिसी हुई और एक चम्मच सौंफ का पाउडर ये अच्छी तरीके से बॉईल करने के बाद में इसको जब बॉईल हो जाए तो उसमें अपने अनुसार या तो गुड़ थोड़ा सा डाल के या शुगर फ्री डाल के जो भी अच्छा लगे वो सुबह शाम ये हमें बराबर देती रही है तो मैं ये पूछना चाहता था डॉक्टर साहब के इसमें कोई चीज और ऐड की जाए देखिए जब से हम ले रहे हैं कोविड के 19 लास्ट से तो जब से टच वुड आज की डेट तक हमें कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं किसी तरह का कोई खांसी जुकाम बुखार नजला गले में चोक कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं आई है तो ये गर्म मसाले तो सब्जियों में पड़ते ही है लेकिन चाय में भी बना दिए ये बिना दूध की <laughs> तो मतलब इसमें कोई और चीज ऐड करें जो हमारे यूजफुल के लिए हो आप तो बहुत जानकार हैं इसलिए आपसे सलाह लेनी चाहिए भाई देखो इफ यू रिमेम्बर यू नो वर यू देयर इन माय लेक्चर हाँ तो सुना आपका सो इफ यू रिमेम्बर देयर इज ए only one word i'm just saying common denominator through all this hmm. is inflammation yeah yeah common denominator mm -hmm. question is how to control inflammation mm -hmm. and as you know there are 50 different spices that mm -hmm. we know and i mentioned that too mm -hmm. indian question indian is kigal yeah. इनफ्लामेशन ओके and so most of the diseases that is known mm -hmm. is caused by inflammation so you control mm -hmm. inflammation you control the disease 
Mm-hmm. And you so so you add a little bit of this spice, a bit of that spice, a bit of that spice. Mm-hmm. It all depends on your own tongue. You mm-hmm. know yeah, that yeah. which tastes you the best. Actually, I have sent a lot of places to send it to a lot of people. I wanted to go to it because I was very impressed with you. So, I wanted to go to it because I have not taken a lot of people. I have sent a lot of people to it because it becomes a lot of fun. कि सबको फायदा ही हो तो आपने कह दिया अप्रूवल दे दिया राइट लगा दिया तो और देखेंगे इसमें अगर कुछ हम कर सकेंगे तो करेंगे एक आपसे जानकारी दूसरा क्वेश्चन नहीं है मेरे को ऑस्ट्रोप्रोसिस है हाई स्पीड का और इसके बैकबोन में काफी दर्द है एल वन में एल फाइव में एल वन तो डिस फिसली भी अपनी जगह से एल में भी काफी दर्द है तो क्या मैं जो हल्दी है इसको पीस के और उसको वैसली में मिला के इसकी क्रीम बना के लगा सकती हूँ जैसे मैं दर्द का पेड़ लगा दर्द की क्रीम लगाती हूँ ऐसे लगा सकती हूँ इसको बिल्कुल 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 क्यों नहीं यू नो सो यू कैन गो बोथ वेज यू कैन टेक ओरली एज वेल एज टॉपिकली ओरल तो मैं लेती हूँ बराबर या या सो यू कैन आल्सो अप्लाई लोकली Mm-hmm. Because as I mentioned that everything is personalized. Personalized mm-hmm. meaning mm-hmm. you know you are different, I am different, everybody is different. Yeah yeah. So the question is what works for me. Mm-hmm. And that is the most important. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So yeah. you know, normally you know, drug coming from pharmaceutical mm-hmm. company, you know, they tell you only this way and no way. Why? Because mm-hmm. they don't know any other way, and it is too toxic. So they are worried more about the, doing some harm. But here, mm-hmm. there is no question of a harm. It is mm-hmm. only good, good, good. You yeah, know? good, good, good. Yeah. So as I said, I have probably one in hundred ever somebody coming to me and that mm-hmm. they it reacted. But usually people do not. एक क्वेश्चन लास्ट और एक छोटा सा छोटा सा क्वेश्चन है लास्ट मेरा जो एब्डोमिनल है पेट जो है और लीवर वगैरह जो है वो एक तो ये क्या बोलते हैं इसको दाले वगैरह प्रोटीन प्रोटीन और आयरन को एक्सेप्ट नहीं कर रहा है खाली मैं कार्बोहाइड्रेट पे ज्यादा हूँ और फलों पे हूँ ज्यादा क्योंकि मैं पनीर नहीं खा पाती तो पनीर नहीं खा पाती और प्रोटीन दाले वाले नहीं खा पाती तो आप सोचते हैं कि अगर उसमें थोड़ा सा जल्दी ज्यादा हल्दी डालू तो शायद बच जाए हेलो हेलो हाँ जी आवाज आ रही है या 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 तो मैं जैसे प्रोटीन और आयरन नहीं पसता तो आयरन में अगर मैं हल्दी ज्यादा डाल दूं और जैसे कॉमन हल्दी डालती हूँ उसे ज्यादा डाल दूं तो शायद प्रोटीन और आयरन पसने लग जाए सिस्टम में हो सकता है इट इज पॉसिबल एंड व्हाट इज आल्सो पॉसिबल दैट इवन इन दैट कंकाक्शन यू कैन ऐड सम हल्दी टू स्टार्ट विद नाउ द बॉडी विल एक्सेप्ट मोर देन एवर बिफोर सो अगेन यू कैन एक्सपेरिमेंट दैट हाउ यू आर रिएक्टिंग oh i see you see mm-hmm. that uh, you know it is a tolerance level so you know something body can tolerate some it cannot so how do you like even help the tolerance level mm mm-hmm. mm you know so it mm-hmm. will be able to tolerate lot more mm. you know because uh, rather so rather using this i just understand by uh, by listening your all talks i my mind decided to ask this question because uh, related to my problem my healthy can also help so that is why i have asked this yeah 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 sure and and you know you have my email you know bbagarwal@gmail.com and feel free to write me mm-hmm. and uh, i can provide you more uh, uh, feedback you know and mm-hmm. see if there's anything already known so mm-hmm. i have a database that tells you you know mm-hmm. what we know what we don't mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. thank you thank you okay thank you doctor sir डॉक्टर साहब मुझे ये पता दीजिए कि इंसोमिया और कॉन्स्टिपेशन को कुछ हल्दी का उपयोग मिलेगा इंसोमिया आपने बोला देखो अगेन आई टू बी ऑनेस्ट विद यू इन ऑल ऑनेस्टी आई कैन नॉट टेल यू ऑफ एंड एंड आई हैव टू चेक इन माई डाइटा दैट इफ देर इज एनीथिंग नोन अबाउट इट 
Mm-hmm. And if you drop me a line, then I will do my homework. Okay. Mm-hmm. Can you just repeat your email address? BB Agarwa at gmail.com. Gmail.com. Okay. And uh, constipation ka bhi hai, Dr. Constipation may be put. Yeah, yeah, sure. You drop a line there and I can very easily check. All right. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Kamal Ji Ji. Thank you. Um, first of all, uh, I'd like to mention over here that uh, Dr. So has given a long list of uh, published articles uh, showing different aspects of diseases basically caused by inflation. There are two, three questions uh, regarding uh, his presentation. That uh, first, my question is, was it related with healthy? Of course, a uh, lot of uh, uh, questions have been uh, discussed over here. That question has already been answered. But my second question is that uh, can you explicitly tell us what are the sources of omega-3? You mentioned in your lecture about the omega-3. One question, let me give you all my questions, then you can answer me. That what are the different sources of omega-3? One. And second, how to use amla in, uh, in our diet? And uh, the last question is, can you show us the picture again of uh, your uh, dietary spices which you have shown? Uh, I would like to see the enlarged uh, version of uh, this uh, all the spices and a little bit explanation that how to take uh, healthy for the bone loss. All the, these are my different questions. Thank you. So, so one of the question is about amla. So, what yeah. was the question about amla? That how how we can uh, take uh, amla? Bhai, dekho, amla ka achar bhi aata hai. So whatever is convenient, you can even make a little sabji, you can eat even a kacha, you know, Uh and uh, it is just which way suits you the most or which way tastes you the most. Got it. So any shape or form, you know, so if you go by your own tongue, that how you can take it, you know, and It's very simple, very straightforward. Yeah. So, so that is uh, as far uh, that uh, amla goes. And then, by the way, you can even combine amla with haldi, you know, with turmeric, you know. Yeah. And that will make it even better. So, and then the second question was regarding. Uh, uh, please remind me. Uh, sources of sources of omega three. Which one? Omega three. So there are number of sources, and again, I have to uh, go through the presentation that uh, it is a, a you know. A, because after after you presented about the flower, Sadaba yeah, maybe heart. you can even drop me a line, you know, and uh, and I can uh, you know send you the whole slide of, of all the sources oh, of omega three. That will be that will be excellent. You know, uh, on your I can email. send you the whole whole slide on omega-3 okay. and it okay. controls inflammation, you know, okay. Okay. so that's no big deal. Thank you. And what was the third one? And that uh, again, the uh, dietary spices, you showed us a long picture, but uh, the, those we cannot uh, see because that picture was uh, giving very small pictures. Oh, Again, oh, what was so, written? What was written over there, and what uh, are the spices? We we use only two three spices in our kitchen, but uh, there so, was long list of I I think about fifty spices. Yeah. So again, you drop me a line, and I can cut it and send the whole picture. Shoot it in, in email. Okay. This is bb bb agarwal at uh, gmail gmail So okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much, Kavalji ji. Yeah. Actually, kya hai ki ye jo, the entire uh, recording entire, will be uh, on YouTube. On YouTube. Okay. So there you are. You can so I don't even have to do that. So you if everything always, is on YouTube, you can easily access it. You can always watch it later. Or bade aram se images badi badi kar kar ke aap dekh ke aram se kariye. And it is so kind of you, Dr. Agarwal. Aap apna email share kare ho. Email chat me shared hai. Bbagarwal at gmail dot com. Aap note kar sakte ho. 
एंड सो काइंड ऑफ डॉक्टर अग्रवाल के वो हमको अलाउ कर रहे हैं कि हम हर कोई उनको लिख सकता है सो स्वीट ऑफ यू सर आई रिक्वेस्ट अलोका जी टू प्लीज नमस्कार डॉक्टर अग्रवाल I want to say that this has been one of the most enlightening talks of my life. Thank you, thank you. Itni simple ki har bimari inflammation se ho rahi hai, aur haldi inflammation ko thi kar deti hai. And ye aapka message ki spice up your life, spice up your life. Very, very, very simple. You are right. Healthy, healthy. Very, very, very. So you know, we are, I I was feeling that um, we are very lucky to be of South Asian origin because we all were brought up with mothers and grand grandmothers and these spices, and um, I, I loved uh, it when somebody said loneliness, you know, and you said, well, spice up your life, <laughs> do some parties, <laughs> do, do something. and it will reduce inflammation or haldi khalo haldi khalo haldi khalo and um, so this has been incredible to understand that all diseases this root cause is inflammation and the takes care of inflammation and then add more spices and get healthy so that's what uh, i got out of it and i thought इतना सिंपल इतना खूबसूरत इतना मजेदार आपने लेक्चर दिया तो कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशन मेरा तो दंडवत प्रणाम है आपको थैंक यू थैंक यू आई एम वेरी ग्लैड टू हियर दैट द मैसेज गॉट आउट एंड इट इज वेरी क्लियर सो आई थिंक दैट आई चैलेंज यू दैट आई कैन नॉट थिंक ऑफ एनी एनी डिसीज व्हिच इज नॉट लिंक्ड विद इंफ्लेमेशन एंड यू गो टू अ मेडिकल डॉक्टर as i said that they are legal drug dealers and they are illegal drug dealers these are the legal drug dealers who are just feeding the pharmaceutical companies hmm. and uh, they they do you know on one hand yes they do know but apparently they don't care to know that kind of thing so still i encourage you to check with your doctor see what they think absolutely you know uh, uh hajit uh, bhamra ji ਕਾਲ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਵੀ ਬੜਾ ਅੱਛਾ ਲੱਗਿਆ ਔਰ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਇੰਨਾ ਜ਼ਬਰਦਸਤ ਸੀ ਸੈਸ਼ਨ ਕਿ 1 ਮਿੰਟ ਵੀ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਇੱਧਰ ਉੱਧਰ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੋਣਾ ਪਿਆ ਕਿ ਮੈਂ ਕੀ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਕੋਈ ਮੈਂ ਇਨਫੋਰਮੇਸ਼ਨ ਮਿਸ ਨਾ ਕਰਨਾ ਤੇ ਮੇਰੇ ਮਾਈਂਡ ਵਿੱਚ ਇੱਕ ਕੁਐਸਚਨ ਸੀ ਕਿ ਅਸੀਂ ਇਹਨੂੰ ਹਲਦੀ ਨੂੰ ਕਿਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਐਜ਼ ਅ ਹੈਲਦੀ ਪਰਸਨ ਯੰਗ ਐਂਡ ਅਡਲਟ ਜਾਂ ਓਲਡ ਸਾਰੇ ਲੈ ਸਕਦੇ ਹੈ ਔਰ ਕਿੰਨੀ ਅਮਾਉਂਟ ਲੈਣੀ ਚਾਹੀਦੀ ਹੈ ਔਰ ਕਿਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਲੈਣੀ ਚਾਹੀਦੀ ਹੈ ਪਾਣੀ ਚ ਲੈਣੀ ਚਾਹੀਦੀ ਹੈ ਦੁੱਧ ਚ ਲੈਣੀ ਚਾਹੀਦੀ ਹੈ ਜਾਂ ਕਿ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਵੈਜੀਟੇਬਲ ਬਣਾਈ ਹੈ ਕਰੀ ਚ ਉਨਾ ਹੀ ਕਾਫੀ ਹੈ ਕਿੰਨੀ ਅਮਾਉਂਟ ਚਾਹੀਦੀ ਹੈ ਤੇ ਇੱਕ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਕੋਈ ਕੈਂਸਰ ਪੇਸ਼ੈਂਟਸ ਹੈ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਕਿ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਇਨਫਲਮੇਸ਼ਨ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਦੂਰ ਹੋ ਸਕਦੀ ਹੈ ਮੈਂ ਆਈ ਆਈ ਵਾਂਟ ਟੂ ਹੀਅਰ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਥੈਟ ਕਿ ਉਹ ਕਿੰਨਾ ਉਹ ਵੀ ਹਲਦੀ ਦਾ ਯੂਜ਼ ਕਰਨ ਕਿ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੀ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਇਨਫਲਮੇਸ਼ਨ ਠੀਕ ਹੋ ਸਕੇ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਯਾ ਸ਼ੋ ਸੋ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਫॉर ਯਰ ਕਮੈਂਟਸ ਸੋ ਐਸ ਆਈ ਮੈਂਸ਼ਨਡ ਅਰਲੀਅਰ ਥੈਟ ਐਵਰੀਥਿੰਗ ਇਜ਼ ਪਰਸਨਲਾਈਜ਼ਡ ਪਰਸਨਲਾਈਜ਼ਡ ਮੀਨਸ ਦੀ ਪ੍ਰੋਬਲਮ ਥੈਟ ਯੂ ਹੈਵ ਯਾ ਯੂਰ ਹਸਬੰਡ ਹੈਜ਼ ਯਾ ਯੂਰ ਕਿਡਸ ਹੈਵ ਆਰ ਐਨੀ ਆਫ ਅਸ ਹੈਵ ਇਜ਼ ਡਿਫਰੈਂਟ ਓਕੇ ਐਂਡ ਥੇਅਰ ਫੋਰ there is no such thing across the board same dose so everybody can take different so cost is not an issue safety is not an issue the only issue is how much so that is where you decide yourself that if i take a half a teaspoon it is good enough no i need a whole teaspoon or i need a two teaspoon and so safety is not an issue so you simply jack up the dose and as i said cost is not an issue either so so you know and different people some put it in their yogurt some put it in milk you know some take as pills you know and uh, again that is your own convenience and uh, i don't know you might have a costco in your town and we have a costco here even they started selling you know healthy you know capsules you know capsules, yes. and uh, so it is now anywhere and everywhere so people are becoming more and more aware of it so so more you use the better Yes. you know thanks thank you and what about the cancer patients can their inflammation can be um, lower to uh, the uh, healthy level so 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 the answer is yes and no so as you know most of the cancer patients they take chemo and radiation yes okay 
they either take chemo or they take radiation or take chemo plus radiation. So, and as I mentioned in my talk, that uh, healthy turmeric curcumin is synergistic with chemo and synergistic with, with radiation. So, which synergistic means two plus two is 10, which means radiation will do a better job if uh, it is taken with curcumin. Same is with the chemo. And even the toxic effect of chemo and radiation are blocked by healthy. So, so what more you can ask? So it blocks the bad things that is chemo and radiation does and it gives you the good things. So again, you know, it is all very well established. And usually, you know, people do one clinical trial on anything to get FD approval. Okay. And here with Haldi, they have done a 500 clinical trial, 500, yes. not just one or two. Yes. Okay. So that goes on to show you that Haldi does all kinds of things, you know, and we are putting together a whole review on those all 500 clinical trials. And FD will approve just based on one clinical trial. Yes. And you missed one interesting thing, the Haldi ceremony, which is very good. And uh, the auspicious moment, we use it. And uh, in our own homes, uh, it's uh, used uh, at a large scale basis. And no, no vegetable is cooked without Haldi. See, and there you are. Sesame. There you are. You're absolutely right. Yes. And, yes. and Haldi is just one of the spices. As I said, there are 50 different spices. Yes. So you can add all kind of permutation combinations. Yes. You know, bit of this and bit of that. Whatever tastes your tongue, suits your tongue. Yes. You know, yes. and more the merrier. <laughs> That's and why I can add spice to your uh, life. And your lecture was quite simple, interesting, and uh, quite quite uh, informative. Thank you. Thank I you. really like that. Thank you. So, any other thank question so before much. I uh, thank, thank you so, you so much, Harji. Thank you. Any other question before I ask my questions? Yes, so one question. Uh, Dr. Sir, is it better to take capsules or uh, the turmeric by itself? Whatever suits you. Because mm -hmm. haldi, as you know, is a bit messy. So yeah. some people, you know, if you are putting it in a yogurt or milk, you know, or something, you know, and the kitchen itself, you know, and it is fine. So, but if you have to take a powder in some form, you know, you spill a little here, a little there, it is very, very messy. Yeah, so that's, that's why true. for convenience sake, you know, people take capsule, especially when you're traveling, you know, capsules uh, is much more convenient. And there are a lot of companies who sell the capsule. Yeah, you know? I have. So, 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 you know, the bottom line is it is all your convenience. That uh, better to use organic uh, turmeric? This, so no, again, organic, inorganic, this is all bunch of witchcraft. You know, mm -hmm. this is money making game. You know, okay. in, you go to Punjab, there is only one thing and that is agriculture. But when you start putting all kind of chemicals, this, that, all kind of stuff and you mess up everything. So it is again, very westernized concept, organic, inorganic, you know. And uh, so I will not comment one way or the other. Thank you. So, so you read about the whole organic business. It is all money-making scam. Okay. I know. All the dolls and all, they're all, are, but the taste all, all. is a lot of difference. I tried uh, yeah. the Rajma and an organic and non-organic. Yeah. The taste was really good. For me. You go to Punjab, there's only one thing uh, that is Rajma. Yeah, Punjab is different, you know. but here, I think <laughs> so what I'm saying is a very westernized concept, you know. Mm. Yeah. Thank you. Sir. Thank you very Thank much. You. Sure. For Zia? Hi, uh, Mitaji. Can you guys all hear me? Yeah. Okay, awesome. Uh, I just want to say that a uh, very wonderful session. Um, and I fully agree with everything that you're saying. I have been taking um, healthy and um, other adaptogens and ashwagandha and all of these things for over 15 years. And I can tell you that it has made a complete change in, in, in my life. And I recommend it to all the clients that I work with because we have to understand that these natural supplements and these natural spices were created for us as, as, um, as medicine. 
right? And so turning to the pharmaceuticals with the pH is not helping your gut. And what we're learning now, I love that you were talking about the pH balance and how um, even the impact that it has on a healthy microbiome, because we know now that especially for people with mental health issues and mental illness, um, which is the clients that I work with, they need to have a healthy microbiome in order to start to correct the issues that they're dealing with, with their mental health. And this is, this is a newer thing that we're starting to learn and recognize, but it's amazing how it all ties in together. But we have to go back to our roots and we have to go back to what's natural and start to change our lifestyle from that place. So I just want to say uh, thank you very much for a fantastic session. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you for your comments. And I think you're absolutely right. And it is all a matter of lifestyle, you know. And, uh, you know, all of you are uh, from India or maybe Pakistan, you know, and there is all, uh, you know, the culture. And as I mentioned, the man without a culture is a vulture. So, so, so we have to use our culture, you know, that what we are coming from and we all grow up with it. And then as we come to the West and we completely forget about it. And that's mm -hmm. where we pay a very heavy price. So more you stick to your culture, more it is in your favor. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. So I have a couple of questions. Um, uh, Dr. Saab, first question is that you have mentioned about few books and uh, some of those are very, very interesting. So where do we get them? Do we get them on Amazon? How do we get them? Yeah, you can get uh, virtually all of them on Amazon. Okay. So I have a, another website called bbagarwal.com. Okay. No, uh, so all these books are listed in there and all the masala, oh, even no. some of the, my presentations are on there on that website okay. called bbagarwal.com. You know, www.bbagarwal.com. So okay. all those uh, things are uh, available there and uh, even uh, the books that, uh, which books and uh, all that the pictures of the books and stuff like that is in there. And so Amazon has all these books. And if you have any problem, you let me know. Yeah. So uh, thank you so much. And my qu second question is that uh, as we know that we need to have a holistic approach for maintaining our health. Okay. Yeah. Not only like uh, medicines, no, I mean, good lifestyle. We know we, the importance of exercising, the importance of uh, having a good diet, healthy diet. And apart from that, the importance of meditation, even you mentioned that, right? Yeah, yeah. So uh, my question is that when we are eating these vegetables, a constant thought is always there in our minds that it contains a lot of chemicals. Yeah. The healthy powder that we get from the markets is usually adulterated. So, I mean, uh, what is your take on that? What do you suggest? You know, this is interesting. You said that, you know, and uh, February 2020. Okay. We were in India. Mm -hmm. We went to Thiruvananthapuram. You know, have you, any of you heard yes. of Thiruvananthapuram? Kerala, Kerala, yeah. Kerala. So there was a whole conference that we were attending in Thiruvananthapuram. And then we went to a place called Hampi. Has oh. anybody heard of Hampi? Yes, yes. So we were in Hampi. And then from Hampi, we went to Banaras, Varanasi. And so all these different places that we went to, and they were selling some of the spices on the footpath. So you can imagine, you know, every time we go to India and normally we go to India once a year and now because of coronavirus, I have not been since 2020. And uh, so we get a lot of spices from there. And uh, what you get over here, you know, you don't know what you are getting. And there's a lot of mix and match and all that kind of stuff. So it is a very, very easy and, uh, you know, it is available over there. And uh, so that's not a problem, but uh, you know, things are available here, you know, a lot of them, mm. but uh, you don't know the purity level, you know? Mm. So that's a big question. Big question, yes, always. <laughs> yeah. 
yeah. definitely we get lot of uh, this indian stuff in canada uh, there's lot of in all of indian spices are uh, easily available here and mostly many of them are very of a very good quality uh, i was talking about india only in india we get mostly adulterated things so yeah. this is what i am talking about anyways so uh, any anyone else do you have any question uh i think yeah so because your talk was so self sufficient and so rich in content we'll have to watch the youtube video i think two or three times more to grasp all the knowledge this is what i uh, believe and uh, yes moini didi it is absolutely correct we should uh, Moni Didi has suggested that take fresh haldi and grind it. That's that's true. We should do it. And um, thank you so much uh, for uh, being there, Dr. Agarwal, for accepting uh, our invitation. To I I really loved so many of your uh, phrases. Haldi is healthy. You said, sad is fad. I'll never forget these things. You know. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, beautiful phrases you used uh, uh, of course varieties the add spice to your life and uh, spicy approach to cancer treatment and farmers market instead of farmers market <laughs> pharmaceutical f with f rather than ph so it was really very good uh, thank you i think uh, prabha ji has another question before uh, okay you asked your question then i uh, thank him because he has to go dr agarwal has to be yes please dr sir mai last mein bas question to nahi ek thode se dil ki baat kehna chahta hu aapne bahut acha iske haldi ke bare mein bataya aur itna sun ke maza aaya ke aaj se ab se 50 saal purani yaad aa gayi jab shaadi ke time pe haldi mali gayi thi <laughs> वो सीन याद आता है कि कितनी हल्दी मली गई थी सबने मल मल के अपनी कसर पूरी कर ली थी और वो ही सेहत का राज है जो आप आज तक हम लोग हंस रहे और हंसते रहे यही आप लोगों के लिए भी हमारी दुआ है कि आप सब में खुशियां बांटे और सबको हंसाते रहे सबके परिवारों में सबके अंदर जो खुशी की लहर दौड़ती रहे हंसते रहे और हंसाते रहे थैंक यू वेरी मच थैंक यू थैंक यू यूर एप सी शांता जी आ, मैं इतना ही बोलना चाहती हूँ कि सच्चे इस ग्रुप से हमारे सात आठ जन या ज्यादा ही लोग आए हुए हैं गिविंग अस द अपॉर्चुनिटी टू ज्वाइन इन आपने कहा था कि अपने ग्रुप को बताना एंड दे ऑल केम एंड थैंक यू ऑल फॉर ज्वाइनिंग एंड थैंक यू टू माउल्टन वेमेंस काउंसिल और हम लोग सब जुड़ सके आपके साथ थैंक यू सो मच शांता जी आप इतने लोगों को लाए क्योंकि जब भी नॉलेज हो और उसको शेयर करने में जितना मजा आता है ना तो देखिए डॉक्टर अग्रवाल कितने खुले दिल से अपनी सारी चीजें शेयर कर रहे हैं और मैं इस पे इस मौके पे ये जरूर कहना चाहती हूँ आई रियली मिस अवर सीईओ उमा इरफान शी इज नॉट हेयर आई मिसिंग हर so uh, but uh, some of our board members are there gullas is there so, so i am thanking you to so, hamare uh, choti se ek aur baat kehte hue dr garwal ke hamare molten women council ke hamare bahut sare programs chalte hain jinme ye fridays ke sessions hote hain uske alawa hamare inhi mein hum uh, mental health ambassadors bhi hain hamare yahan par kuch baithe hue to mental health ka seniors ka specially humne program shuru kiya hua hai तो उसमें हम हमारे यहाँ पे बड़े सारे मेंटल हेल्थ ट्रेंड मेंटल हेल्थ एम्बेसडर्स जिनमें मैं भी एक हूँ तो हम सब यहाँ बैठे हैं तो वी आर वेरी ऑनर्ड टू हैव योर सेशन हियर थैंक यू सो मच हैव अ वेरी गुड नाइट थैंक यू गॉड ब्लेस यू थैंक यू थैंक यू एवरीबॉडी थैंक यू तेज जी गुड नाइट थैंक यू डॉक्टर अगरवाल थैंक यू थैंक यू any time feel free to write thank you everyone thank, thank you dr sir really thank you meeta ji thank thanks to you <laughs> thank you